Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix Google Play Store error 927 on Android devices and uh, this error occurs when you try to download an app or update an app. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you a couple of methods and you can try that out and let's see if this fixes your issue or not, okay? So method one we have is you have to clear the cache and data of Google Play Store, Google Play Services and Google Services Framework and if you see download manager then you have to clear its you know cache and data as well okay and if you don't see you know download manager then you have to leave it okay okay guys so in order to uh, clear the cache and uh, data of you know all these you know apps over here uh, you have to go to the you know the settings of your phone and here you need to find you know apps or application manager so just tap on you know whatever you have I have apps and you have to swipe to the right to all tabs over here okay and guys here you need to find Google Play Store so let me find that okay guys so here I have Google Play Store just tap on it and just tap on clear data and then tap on you know just okay as you can see it's now cleared and you have to go back and find here Google uh, Play Services. So here we have Google Play Services. Just tap on it and tap on Manage Space. And just tap on Clear All Data. And then tap on OK. Alright guys, so it's now cleared. And you have to go back and find this Google Services Framework. Just tap on it and uh, clear its data as well. Okay guys and uh, and you have to go back and uh, you have to find this you know download manager and if you have it then it's fine and if you don't then no problem uh, you you can just leave it so let me find that if I have so I have download manager so I need to tap over here and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok ok guys after that you need to you know uh, restart your phone and you know go to Play Store and uh, try to download an app or update an app and let's see if this fixes your issue okay okay guys so uh, you tried this you know method one and it doesn't you know fix your issue so you can go for this uh, method two that you have to you know reset the app preferences okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and again you need to find your apps or application manager uh, just tap on it and uh, you have to tap over this you know this three dots over here okay and you can see this you know option reset app preferences okay just tap on it and as you can see reset app preferences this will reset all preferences for uh, disabled apps disabled app notifications default applications for actions well guys so you will not lose any app data so just tap on reset apps and uh, and you have to restart your phone and uh, you know go to play store and just try to download or update an app okay well guys so you tried this method too and it also doesn't work for you then you have to try this method three okay so you have to uninstall the updates of google play store okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager again uh, so I have apps so just tap over here and you have to swipe to the right to all you know tabs over here to find all apps and find here Google Play Store so let me find it so here I have Google Play Store just tap on it and just tap on uninstall the updates okay and then tap on OK. As you can see, Google Play Store. Do you want to replace this app with the factory version? Yes. Tap on OK. And as you can see, it's uninstalling the updates and it's done. Okay, guys. After that, you need to restart your phone and you have to go to the Play Store and uh, just try to download an app or update an app. Okay. Okay, guys. So you tried, you know, this method three and it also doesn't work for you. Then you have to try this method four. You have to remove your Google account and uh, re-add it again 
and guys if you have more than one google account associated on your android device then you have to remove uh, every account okay so in order to do that uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here accounts so let me find that so here i have accounts just tap over here and then tap on google tap on gmail and guys you need to tap on this three dots over here and then tap on remove account and then tap on remove account okay guys so it's now done and you have to do it for every account if you have more than okay and guys after that you, you need to open you know play store uh, app on your android device and you have to remove you have to add it again okay add your you know google account okay so just open play store app and as you can see it's checking info and just enter your email over here Uh, and then tap on next uh, enter your password so let me type mine uh, and then tap on next uh, accept the terms of service and uh, tap over here And then tap on next uh, set up payment info if you like you can do that uh, I'm not you know I'm just selecting no thanks I will do it later and then tap on continue and you know just you know uh, try to download or update an app and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys Okay guys, so you tried this method for uh, and it doesn't work for you. Then you can try this uh, method 5 that you have to unmount the SD card. Okay. So in order to do that, you have to go to the, you know, storage. So let me, so in order to uh, go to storage, you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here a storage. So let me find where is it so here i have storage just tap over here and scroll down and find here okay so if you have you know sd card then you have to unmount it just tap on this unmount sd card and then tap on okay. as you can see uh it's now unmounted and guys uh, after that you need to go to play store and try to download an app and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay and guys after that uh, you can uh, come over here again to storage and you can just tap over here and mount it again okay so it's now mounted so okay guys so you tried this method 5 and it doesn't work for you then you can go for method 6 so guys in most cases uh, you know it happens but generally the above methods uh, are working really cool can try that out first before going to this method 6 okay so no problem uh, it doesn't work for you all the methods above methods so you have to you know just factory reset your phone okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here backup and reset this tap over here and uh, tap on this factory data reset and uh, just tap on this reset phone and it will reset your phone. Okay guys, so I don't recommend checking this It is stored con content and format SD card Okay, just you know tap over here reset phone and it will do that. Okay, and After that you need to you know go back, you know to open you know play store you can open it and Just try try to download or update an app that you were doing 
Alright guys, so that's it for this video. You can try this method and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not. So yes, thanks for watching. Bye bye, take care.